Jeff Hassel is the new executive director, as of four months ago, of the Lazarus House. Jeff, thank you so much for being with us. Pleasure. Okay, so let's just start with the real basics. What is the Lazarus House? Lazarus House, first and foremost, is a ministry. And so it is a ministry comprised of multiple ministries that reach out to the materially poor and the homeless in Lawrence. And so what that means is it's food and shelter and clothing and job training that is all woven together in a, in a, in a really cool network that helps people move from the street to stability. There's great work, uh, uh, great service being provided in Lawrence and Lazarus House uh, shines among all of the good works. Uh, can I ask you, uh, you as Jeff, Jeff, as you mentioned that you're, you're just four months into the job, but what became, what, what made you interested first in the organization? Sure. Uh, well, let's start with this. You know, I've had a lot of experience with nonprofit groups, and Lazarus House is always clear to say we're not just a nonprofit group, we are that ministry. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of people doing good in the world, but sometimes the heart is not at their heart, is not the right place. Well, Lazarus House, the thing that really drew me is that during the interview process, all of the board members said, it's about dignity, it's about respect. And then when I toured the facilities and met the staff, that showed through in everything that Lazarus House did. Mm -hmm. And so what grabbed me for Lazarus House is clearly the dignity and respect that are shown. Basically, it's love God, love neighbor in practice. And in today's society, a lot of times these people are invisible mm -hmm. who you serve and people want them to be invisible. Mm -hmm. They don't. So, and you talk about dignity and, and every person deserves dignity and respect. What surprised you about the people who are served through the Lazarus House. Well, I've got a great story in that regard. There's, uh, I went into our shelter, which was the original ministry started back in the early 1980s. And I walked in there a couple of days ago to say hi to the staff and they introduced me to a couple of families that were just coming back for the day, just getting settled, ready for dinner. And there's a couple of moms and their children. And this one little boy was friendly and he was really um, confident. But the thing that stood out to me most was that he, uh, he was comfortable in that place. He mm -hmm. felt at home in the shelter. And I walked away from that thinking, Lazarus House, you have done it again. You did well here because they, he was not uh, invisible. He had a home and a place and he was welcomed there. Something I know too about Lazarus House is uh, obviously you provide shelter and food and uh, advice and friendship, but there's a certain joy about the place mm. too. Uh, that is just naturally part of the day-to-day -day routine. Uh, how, do, how do you bring that about? Is it the commitment that the staff has? Or how does that happen, the I joy? Think, I think it starts with Mother Teresa. As you know, that Lazarus House started with a challenge from Mother Teresa to Marist brother, Tom Potit, to make a difference in his own community, that is Lawrence. So it starts with the way that Mother Teresa used to work with people. And so that kind of joyous contagion has, has affected Lazarus House from the earliest days. And what I like to do is I like to go to Philippians chapter 4. I rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. And so we had a staff retreat even uh, about three weeks ago. And one of the scriptures that we used that day was Philippians 4, rejoice in the Lord always, because we want to be joyful in what we do. And part of that joy comes from the fact that this is not just a job for our staff. This is a vocation. There's something deep in us that is met when we come to work and serve others. And as a nonprofit, and we know this, we're a nonprofit as well, there are challenges. What are some of the challenges that you face? Well, we take, uh, you know, for example, our, our funding comes from individuals. We don't take government money. And so we don't have like some big pocket sitting out there that keeps us going. So what we have are hundreds and even thousands of people who donate to make Lazarus House continue to work. So the challenge, always funding. Uh, and also the problem of homelessness is not going away in Lawrence. Whereas maybe the whole country is kind of increasing as far as the economy is concerned, you know, Lawrence is dragging behind. So mm -hmm. we don't see these, we don't, haven't seen a huge change in Lawrence as far as the ability of our guests, and that's what we call the people that come through our door. We haven't seen the, uh, the, an increase in the ability of our guests to like surmount poverty in the last uh, couple of years. Another great work of charity in Lawrence's Quorunum, Father mm. Paul O'Brien at St. Patrick's. Do you have any collaboration with them? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, we, you know, we, we are very connected with the other nonprofits yeah. in town. So great. yes, great. the answer. Mm -hmm. and, and you talked about a, a young man being, a young boy, a young mm, boy right. being there. So 
is this is families this is this is everyone you're helping that's right. Yeah, there's there's no limit. And one of the great benefits of not taking certain pot, pots of money, like government money that come with a lot of restrictions, is that Lazarus House, because they take donations from individuals, we don't have limits on who we can help. Anybody who comes to our door is welcomed mm -hmm. and treated as a child of God. What surprised you, Jeff, so far being there? What's been your biggest surprise? Oh, the the, the joy that exists in our in our ministries. Yeah because it taps with our staff, it taps that vocation, but also with our guests, when you're respected, you, you relax. When you're respected, you, you open up and, and you let the joy of the Lord come forth. And so that's what I see. And that's and what that, we're supposed to be doing, is helping one another. Right. You know, uh, I'm gonna guess, because of your enthusiasm and the joy that you take personally from this ministry, you probably have a great website that shows uh, ah, this thanks. work off. <laughs> yes, thanks. It's LazarusHouse.org. That's Lazarus with a Z, LazarusHouse.org. And you can find out how to connect with us and anybody within the greater Boston area who happens to be watching this right now, come on and take a tour. We'd love to give you a tour and you'll be, when you leave, you'll be convinced of, wow, God is really at work here. And if someone goes to LazarusHouse.com, they can donate right online? LazarusHouse.org. Dot org. Yes. And they can donate right there online. Great. Yep. Jeff, thank you so much for Thanks, being with Jeff. us. All the Congratulations. Thank you. On, on your new position and keep up the great work. It's been a pleasure. Blessings to you both.